and welcome to tonight's special little treat. What a wonderful, wonderful little example of a, uh, what is it, a Citroen Partner, otherwise known as a Peugeot Berlingo. Um, what we have here is a waterlogged BSI, so we are now fitting our Virgin BSI to the car. We've already extracted the pin code, so uh, we're going to install it from scratch because the old one is so waterlogged we couldn't get any data from it. We'd normally read the data out of the old unit and then install it into this uh, spaghetti wiring loom that Piozo have decided to uh, create for us. So um, normally we'd use Piozo Planet or Citroen Lexia, but today we've got a little special treat. Right, so that's the virginized BSI fitted. Um, it just needs to slot into here and uh, put these little toggle clips around. Let's see what happens when we try and program it now. So this is what we would normally program it with. Um, Citroen Lexia, otherwise known as Piaggio Planet. Uh, dealer tool. Um, I've tried to use aftermarket tools to install these before. Launch has failed and uh, Autel has failed. Um, never been able to do it. Other people have tried with Snap-on and uh, no chance. They'll put keys in, things like that, but they won't do a full install. But today we are using this little puppy here, the Think Car Max. Um, pretty impressive tool so far. So um, without any further ado, let's crack on. Let's see if it'll do it. Okay, tools all connected. Um, just gonna have to move some customer garbage out of the way because uh, ay, ay, ay. this is gonna be a bit of a fight to uh, just get the tool in nice and comfortable in this thing. Let's move some stuff out of here. Let's move some of this. <laughs> okay, I have absolutely no idea. Right, let's get in and uh, see what happens when we connect up. Right, so we have um, power supply on, but we have very little life on the dash. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what the outcome of this one's going to be. Apparently, it was a non-runner. Uh, guys changed all sorts of things, gearbox and etc., etc., etc. And he's given up on it and uh, found the BSI to be completely waterlogged. So we've virginized him one. Uh, it's not going to find it in intelligent diagnostics, obviously, because it's a virgin unit. So first thing we've got to do is uh, detail things like the like the chassis number and then we're going to have to install that into it to uh, even recognize what it is. Right, so there's no VIN number visible on the car so luckily we've managed to extract the VIN number and the PIN number from the customer's original EEPROM. So uh, now it's done the auto scan and obviously not found it because it's virgin. We're going to enter that in manually and uh, that should take us through to the correct model. Right, let's see if it recognises it. Well, it recognises it, Persia Partner 2, 2009. I think that's right. Right. Okay, manually select. So, um, uh, manually select. Oh, is it going to be vans? Yeah, partner. Okay, partner two, I believe. Partner two M69. Partner two. It's not going to read the VIN because it's a virgin. So, uh, diagnosis and maintenance. Diagnosis. Um, we need replacement parts. So, System Selection BSI. Uh, straight in with Special Function. Um, configuration Learning. So we're going to go Learning Programming of Keys. No, we don't want Programming of Keys. Uh, 
Okay, so it doesn't appear to have it. Configuration. We can put in the VIN. Uh, ECU is present. We can do maintenance programming by default. Mm, program by default. Uh, okay. No, not interested in that. Hmm, doesn't look like we've got all the options there. Might be another fail. Let's have a look. Uh, we want to configure this, so let's put in the VIN anyway. It'll store that. Let's configure the VIN anyway. So, apparently it's configured the VIN. So, we can set these up. What I'm just going to try, I'm going to see if it's programmed the VIN, because I'm going to come right out, and now when I do a VIN find, it should now find the VIN. Let's see what happens. Right, so we're going to exit. Okay, so ignition on. Now we're going to see if it's going to find it. Well, it's found the VIN, so we know that so far it's uh, it's written the VIN in, which is good. It's a good start. Okay, time for a little rethink. So. Um, Try number two. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go a different way. We're going to put the ignition on and we are going to go into maintenance this time and we're going to try IMO. Let's see what happens. Let's find Pierre Joe. And because we've already installed the VIN, it should find the VIN number automatically. Immobilizer stroke keys programming. Nah, now we might be onto something. Found the VIN number, it's a partner. Uh, did I just check that? Automatic scan or manual select? Automatic scan, okay. Okay, programming matching, switch on the ignition, um, uh, we're not replacing the ECU, so we're not, pro huh. okay, so still not, no programming of keys, remote control matching, no we don't need to do that, only engine ECU then. Yep, just engine ECU, not to change the BSI. Still got a long way to go on the dealer, on the uh, aftermarket tools to get up to dealer tool level. Um, yeah, we could probably put a Virgin engine ECU, which is good. Um, probably do one of them when we next need to. We can put keys in, which is good. A lot of scanners could put keys in. ECU is probably an interesting one. Uh, but that's it. Um, out with the dealer tool. Okay, just a little recap. Um, we are using Dealer Tool, Piojo Planet, Citroen Lexia, whatever you want to call it. Tried and tried to do these with um, aftermarket multi-brand tools. They don't do it. Despite what that lovely snap-on rep tells you in the van, it will do everything, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't, okay? We've just tried with Launch and we've tried with the Autels. I can assure you they do not program these BSIs. So out with the Dealer Tool. Um, the blue box uh, auto logic will do them. Uh, you can't buy them anymore though, and the new auto logic doesn't get the seal of approval. Uh, so we're going to be using Piojo Planet. Now uh, you have to start off with the dam number or the RPO. So let's find where that is. It should be on the door, driver's door, and. It's the number here. So if we looked, it's the um, first five digits there is known as the RPO or DAM number, depending on whether it's Peugeot or Citroen. And dealer tool, P 
PP2000, as some people call it, will not let you proceed until you enter the RPO dam number in there. 09696. Then we hit it. You can get your RPO and dam numbers from dealer. Um, right, if that comes up on your on your Persian Planet, all you've got to do is unplug it. Plug it in, and we should see some lights flash on your on your Piaggio Planet. So we're going to see what happens on the interface when we plug it in. Yep, she's live. So now we're going to try again. Now we're going to give it an OK. Try again with Planet. And now it goes in. Does it have a 16 pin? Yes, it does. No, we don't want to establish connections. We've got identification and configuration. It should find the bin because uh, we're not in, and it's not a B9. No, it is not. It is a partner two. So we're going to say no. And we're going to do a global scan to start with and just make sure we've got comms with everything. Right, so we can see that it's finding all the ECUs now. Uh, launch and Autel won't do them. It will do some configurations. I tried on this one today just with a, a new tool to, just to see if it'll do it fully updated. It would allow me to put the chassis number in, the VIN, and a couple of minor configurations, but it will not put the pin number into the BSI. You do need dealer tool. Um, we're going to let that scan, and uh, then we're going to go out of the global scan, and we're going to go into replacement parts. And uh, we would normally back up the data on screenshots for previous jobs on on the one we're taking off but this one had absolutely no comms with it so we're gonna we're gonna do it from memory or what I'm actually gonna do is buy previous installs which I've got um, all the pages printed off and we're gonna we're gonna install it and uh, fill in the blanks of uh, the data that we don't have on some of the configurations because there is literally pages and pages and pages of data so there's got to be a lot of time slips coming up including one in a second I think because uh, it takes a long time to do a global scan uh, we've now done a global scan so it's there uh, it is possible to go in from a global scan and do it but the best way to do it is uh, to go back and see which uh, it's found engine airbag BSI etc it hasn't been told that it's got lots of ECUs yet so uh, let's go back and uh, we don't want a global test, we want replacement parts. So let's click on replacement parts and find BSI. And we're going to go replacement of the BSI. Right, chassis number, as uh, as you know, as I've just said, we have installed already with a aftermarket tool. We'd normally do the whole operation with Planet, but I was having a little play with uh, um, the launch, I think, and the the Autel, and uh, and it and it wouldn't do it. So um, we're going to ignore this. We're going to go on to the next one. Um, uh, downloading the BSI. Do you wish to carry this operation? If you say yes, um, we then go through to the program the ECU's present. Um, I have screenshots of this but they're on my phone so what I'm going to do is change all these using the phone as reference uh, do a time slip and that's all written in. Okay so um, I've set these up with the ECU's present from a previous scan we've done uh, sorry previous install we've done them the same so then to um, configure them we just click the OK box Uh, no, we don't click the OK box, sorry. We click the configure, configuration, F1, over there. So we click that. Keep an eye, it might tell us to switch ignition off and on. We just have to keep an eye on that. Configuration carried out, lovely. 
So I'm going to OK that. And we'll go to the next one, which uh, is going to be... Right, downloaded configuration. ECU's present. We covered that. Customer options. Uh, we've got to go through all of these pages here, uh, one by one. Heat and ventilation. Let's get these filled in and do a time slip and get back to you. Okay, so we've moved on to the interesting bit now. Access codes. This is to program the pin number, which if we virginize a unit for you and you send us your old unit, if we can't clone it, which we generally can't on a lot of these particular models, we will supply you your chassis number and your uh, immobilizer pin code so you can program it in. So, for example, on this one, when we get prompted, we have to put the pin number in access code which is let's get this right because uh, you don't want to put this part in wrong it'll prompt you to do it twice so you must do it twice exactly the same okay it's learnt there and do it again Okay, it's done. Now we have one key, so it's now going to prompt us to program a key into it. Following the on-screen guide, switch off the ignition when it's ready. It should tell us when to switch the ignition on. Okay, switching off the ignition not detected. Okay, so we'll try that again switch off the ignition, this time we're going to take the key out. If it fails, don't worry, this is where aftermarket tools do come in, because sometimes we have to use the aftermarket tools to put the keys in. Yeah, it ain't, it ain't liking it, it ain't putting the key in. Right, so, validate to start again, otherwise press the return key. Let's uh, press the return key. Let's put the pin number in. Is the ECU unused? Uh, no, the ECU is not unused. It is used. try to put programming of keys in here and then uh, we'll move on to the aftermarket tools if it doesn't like it. Right. Nope, I don't like it. So, uh, try to go in through the BSI and learn it in that way. If not, we're going to get something aftermarket. Right, doesn't like it. So let's go in through the BSI and try a different way. I'm happy that the uh, the VIN number is in, ECU's present is in. Um, what we can't do, as always, with Peugeot Planet, or sometimes with Peugeot Planet, is uh, the last stage of putting the key in. Let's try it in here. Right, um, Persia Planet hasn't put the key in, so it tells me. Let's see what happens if we try and start it anyway. See if it's lying, or we'll see if it hasn't put the key in. So there's the ignition on. Uh, 
And we have crank but no start. So uh, let's try an aftermarket tool and see what happens then. Don't worry if it doesn't find the VIN because you can skip that and then we can go into Peugeot and OK it. Now the odd thing that I've noticed is it doesn't find it on the um, intelligent diagnostics um, but if you tell it it's Peugeot and then do a search it does find the VIN. OK, oddly enough. Now we should have all the configurations set with Peugeot Planet, so we haven't got anything else to change. So all we should have to do is put the key in. Um, I'm gonna just system select and go to BSI. So all we want to do is put the pin, uh, put the key in with this using the pin code. Should be in special functions, um, learning, programming of keys. Now we need to put the pin code in again, which is oops, nearly got it wrong. So it's accepted the code that we've put in. We want to put just the one key in, which is all we got from the customer. Switch off the ignition. And we have 15 seconds to put it on. Key programmed. Switch off and remove the key. Now, it's put it in. Um, claims to put it in. End of key programming procedure. Okay, so here's the interesting thing. Here's the fun bit. Will it start? Now, probably not, because this car is a ropey old thing and it hasn't been started in a long, long time. Customers are going to be very happy if it does. Let's see if this lets a load of smoke out. Well, we have a fire. And we have a runner. So, jobs are good. Right, so there we have it, a success for the Think Tool Max. Um, car's been off the road for months. The uh, customer's been uh, trying to fix it himself. Good luck getting all that back together. But as you can see, we now have a perfectly living car. So uh, see if it starts again. Yep, it's a runner. So. If you found this video useful, then please click on the like and the subscribe buttons down there somewhere. Till then, if you need anything doing, contact us at ecuconnection.co.uk. We can virginise your BCI, sorry, your BSI. Um, we can give you help programming it. If you need any help on um, any of the menus that uh, you have to scroll through, we've got collections of them and uh, we can help you out with configurations as well. Pin code reading. Um, cloning of items, all the usual suspects. Thanks and good night.